Hello everybody, Weekly Top 10 here, and today we'll be going over the top 10 most popular toys. So these toys can range anywhere from as young as uh, 2014, two years old, to as far back as 1400 BC. If you happen to enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because doing so helps me out a bunch. If you have any suggestions for top fives or tens, please put it in the comments section below and maybe you'll get featured in one of my future videos. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this top 10. Okay, so coming in at number 10 is checkers. Now, I put this in the number 10 spot because I try to look how many uh, checkerboards were sold, but it didn't tell me anything probably due to the fact that checkers was made in 1400 bc this is the oldest game on the list um which is probably why there isn't any connection between how many are sold um but i mean checkers wasn't really from night or from 1400 bc it was a similar game um made in 1400 bc and that inspired some people to make this actual game. The similar game was like a 5x5 five five board, I think. But um, yeah, it ranks in at number 10 because I have no data. Uh, so putting it anywhere else would not be uh, factual. But yeah. Ranking number 9 on this list is the Etch-A-Sketch. Now this is one of those little like rectangular boxes that you like move the little um little knobs on both sides and it like changes direction and makes really cool pictures but this was uh first released on july 12th of 1960. now since then it has sold over a hundred million um copies of this little game or toy or whatever you want to call it um so yeah Okay, so in the number eight spot, we have the Mr. Potato Head. And yes, this was uh, from the movie Toy Story. And uh, the first Mr. Potato Head came out in 1952 by the Hasbro company, the company that makes like uh, gummy bears and all that. I don't know. Um, but since 1952, it has... Oh, well, it has... <laughs> released over a hundred million copies. And the reason that I said, oh well, was because I actually messed up. Um, because number nine, Etch-A-Sketch, and number eight, uh, this one, was supposed to be switched because uh, 100 million to 1952, which was the potato head and then Etch-A-Sketch, et I don't care. Uh, but just pretend that that was switched. But anyways, on to the next one. So coming in at number seven is Shopkins. Now this actually is pretty crazy how many have been sold because the first uh, Shopkins were made in 2014. It was released in 2014 um, with the research that I did. I, I'm not 100% sure, but um, since 2014, it has sold over 115 million copies. Now that's crazy because that's only like two-ish years, two and a half maybe, um, and that is ridiculous because I've, <laughs> like, some of the more ancient ones, like, um, like Etch-A-Sketch, we'll just say, has less cells than Shopkins, but, uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't know what's so amusing about those little tiny toys. My sister has them, a bunch of them, and I, d I don't understand it, but that's just me. So coming in at number six on this list is the Slinky. Now, um, here's a little bit of background information about uh, the Slinky. So the Slinky was an accident made by Richard James. And basically what he was doing was he was making like some sort of uh, spring for like a boat, I think, or something like that. And um, he accidentally knocked one over, I believe, and it like rolled down the stairs instead of like just falling. So he was like, okay, I want to make this a, the new big thing. Um, so he did. And in 1943 was the first one uh, that was sold. 
And since 1943, over 300 million Slinkies have been sold worldwide. Now, um, I used to have one as a kid, and I could tell you guys that it was so amusing um, when I used to play with these. I, I don't know why, but um, it was pretty amusing watching them, like, fly down the steps instead of, like, fall and tumble and all that. But, um, yeah, it was, it's a pretty good invention by him. So number five on this list is the Rubik's Cube. Now, uh, this has been apparently a huge thing all over the internet and all over, uh, well, where I am uh, for a, a couple months now. I don't know what like started the big trend all up all of a sudden, but um, anyways, it was uh, first sold in 1977 and was created by Erno with like a quotation marks on top, Rubik, which is where it gets its name, Rubik's Cube, uh, Rubik's with an apostrophe S, uh, get it, see, but, uh, worldwide, since 1977, it has sold over 350 million copies of, uh, this one toy, which is actually crazy, but, you know what, there's more crazy ones, so, let's get on to the next one, then. So coming in at number four is the game Monopoly. Now, I put this in here because uh, I couldn't really find the exact amount of uh, board games of Monopoly sold, but I did find about an estimated amount of people that have played Monopoly, and that went to an astonishing one billion people. That's crazy. Over one billion people, in fact. Um, but Monopoly was created in, on March 19th of 1935, and, um, yeah, it's a really popular game. If you haven't played it, go buy one at your nearest Target or Walmart or whatever you have near you, um, and play it with your family. It's, it can make you sad, can make you mad, but it's overall a pretty freaking fun game. So coming in at number three is uh, Play-Doh. Now, this is a really big toy uh, for children and little kids and all that, sometimes parents if, you know, they're a little bit childish, but, uh, you know, it's, it's okay to be childish at times. Um, but this was created in 1954 um, when somebody, I can't remember who, was, or their company was uh, creating this product almost as like a uh, window, no, wallpaper cleaning uh, product. And uh, basically you just cleaned your wallpapers with it. I don't know exactly how it worked. But um, then somebody came along and was like, can we use this for a second? Like, I need a bunch of this. Your company, your company is in danger. I will help you. Um, so um, they bought a bunch of it, and uh, she found out that her kids really loved it, so they told the owners of the company, Play-Doh, um, and their, they had to think of up a name for the uh, new toy, and they thought of Play-Doh, which is interesting, play, dough is dough, but you play with it, you know, <laughs> Anyways, it has sold over 2 billion copies um, since 1954. So, yeah, that's it's a pretty popular toy. Okay, so coming in at number 2 is uh, Legos. Now, I couldn't find, once again, uh, the statistics for all these n the number of sets sold in total, but I was able to find some pretty cool statistics and uh, I put this in number two because of one statistic, which was that over 400 billion uh, bricks have been made. And that's crazy. That's ridiculous to think about. Uh, but here are the statistics that I found about Legos. So uh, for everyone on the earth, over 7 billion people, there are 62 Legos for each person. Okay. Um, 40 billion Lego pieces, uh, stacked on top of each other would connect the Earth and the Moon together. Now, that's crazy because they've done that over 10 times. A little over 10 times, uh, they have done 
they have, in quotation marks, connected the Earth and the Moon with Lego pieces. Uh, not really, just like an if statement. Um, also, there are seven Lego sets sold per second. So that kind of gives you a pretty big um, picture of how many people have been, um, have sold, bought Lego sets. And keep in mind, this was uh, made in 1934. So also there are 19 billion bricks uh, being produced per year. Now, sorry if some of that math doesn't add up um, like correctly. Some years may have had uh, less production, like the 19 billion bricks per year that may have been starting at like 2000 or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, those are some of the statistics that I found that I thought I would share with you. So finally, at number one on the list is a yo-yo. And uh, yo-yos were created in 500 BC. Just like they started off as little wood things and then I don't remember what the string was at the time, but um, they were called discs back then, I believe. Um, and I saw that there were 45 million yo-yos being sold per year. Now that's crazy because um, 45 million is a big number. Per year is a big number. And then think back um, to 500 BC. And I know it wasn't that popular in the first couple years. I mean, maybe, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but that is a lot of yo-yos that have been sold, and uh, that's why it deserved to come in number one place. So this is the second oldest toy in uh, the list. The first oldest was Checkers, uh, which sadly was at number 10 because I couldn't find any data for it. Okay, guys, that is all I have for today's uh, or this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please uh, like this video, and hopefully you guys subscribed because that would help me out a bunch um, with my new channel, like just starting off. So uh, any subscribers that I could get are subscribers well earned. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, yeah, we will see you all next video. Goodbye.